winged snow hunter. Yes. Yes, that's it. Parthenax deserves to die. We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. It's been a long journey. And we're finally back in White Run. It's a shame that all of my companions that got shipwrecked with me on the island, save one, are dead. But Zavok has agreed to accompany me and to help me with my mission. <laughs> Come on, Zavok. It's been so long since I've been home. At least we had a chance to freshen our attire on the way here. Good afternoon. Zeltaz, good afternoon. It's been such a long time, it's good to see you. And I think I have one other follower here. Well, that's if he's still here. Hmm? Oh, here he is. Atar. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Good. Yes. Good. All right. This is our newest member, Zavok. Yes, it's true. He is a Dramora. And he is in my service. So, as you all know, what you've signed up for. Bree's home, huh? <laughs> I sure hope that doesn't mean the house isn't well insulated. Is conquering Skyrim and Nern. So, what have you to report on the comings and goings of Alduin? I see. Then it's time me to initiate the final stage of my plan. Come on, Zavok. All right, we need to speak to the Jarl of Whiterun. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some mead. Ah, you're still with me as a companion. Good, Brendan. But I don't have any of you at the moment. Your kin to a choice cut it's of steak or a tender rack sale. of ribs. All crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. Oh, good. You're keeping up. So some interesting robes that you're wearing. But they've been fortified so that you can withstand the toughest enemy. And now that I've reached level 50, I should be more than adequate in facing Alduin. The only grown-ups who talk to me are the kind I don't want talking to me. I came to Skyrim for a reason. There has to be some clue here. Make a move toward Balgra, and you're dead. <laughs> the gods watch over your battles, friend. I think you're speaking of yourself. Please keep your weapons sheathed in the Jarl's presence. No, you're what not, is it that you're you not threatening anyone here. 
Your life hangs Those in the balance. Have no end of spies, saboteurs, and assassins. Y'all, you have us. my attention. Y'all, please tell this one over here to be quiet. I'm here because I need your help to trap trap a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard. No, you. you didn't. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. You know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Of course. You already <laughs> saved White Run from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city when we've been working so hard to keep them out? The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin? The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? <laughs> well, it could mean that, and in other realities it did. Since I left and didn't bother to confront Alduin, I'm sure that world is burning now. No one left. Everyone dead. But, I am the Dragonborn, and it is my destiny to stop him. I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn, and I will, but I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then... I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Then leave that to me. I'll talk to Angia about hosting a peace council. Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Are you ready to spring the trap on the dragon? My men will be ready when you are, Dragonborn. You have a truce to arrange first, eh? Hmm, I thought maybe I could have you overlook that part, but apparently not. All right, then. I'll be off. The things that I have to do, the mechanizations, the orchestrations, to get what I want. <laughs> Here we are. Hi, Rothgar. That was quite the ride. Let's go. You're not on Gar. Looks like he must be outside. Really? You're going to close the gate on me? You must
must be practicing your shouts. I had no idea that you were a practitioner as well as a teacher. I'm Aldo? here. We heard the Dragon Wren shout from here. You defeated him? Well, sort of. But he escaped. And I need to find his portal to Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. I'll worry about capturing a dragon. I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. You misunderstand me. I'm not asking. Jarl Balgruf won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Ooh, I'm sure they do. All right then, are you ready to host the Peace Council? Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to terms. Very well. Sky, go. Oh, this is a nice place to practice shouting. Might have to join you one day. <laughs> All right then, Zavok. Let's go and visit the Yarls. That was quite the ride to Windhelm. Hopefully Have the Yarl is right? still awake. What business do college majors have in a place like Sarfal anyway? It's a place for not dead, not your weird experiments. Look, I'm trying to get in here. Uh, just a few more hours and I can crawl under some furs. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. Who is this? The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Rock. I've spent my life serving Talos. I don't plan to stop now, no matter what the Empire says. He knows that. Talos created the Empire. You'd think they'd show him more respect. You think I need to send more brothers You have that dark aura about you. Maybe I could use you. Alright, let's go in here and talk to the Jarl. So we're ready to start this war in earnest, then. Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely You there! Mess. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without <laughs> Do I know you? You can call me courageous. I believe... We've already met. Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. <laughs> Silently watching and waiting for your head to roll. All right then, whatever. I could have gone anywhere. I came here to fight the Empire. What? A fair point. Well, you've come to the right place then. Speak with Galmar. This is I'm not what I'm here for. for. Fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helgen. So long as you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. We're ready when you are. Speak with Garmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. No, I'm actually here for a different reason. I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? 
They want to negotiate a truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the Dragon Attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Politics be damned. Alduin has returned. Alduin? The world eater of song and legend? If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Oh, Even but it Tullius does. may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So you'll come then to the Peace Council? Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Things hinge on Whiterun. Good. We can take the city without bloodshed. Let's go. Better, but if not, the people are behind you. As if he had a Many choice. Here, still <laughs> Been up to the Blue Palace? It is a sight to see, even if it is filled with fops. Hmm, all these guards rushing at us. They're lucky I almost cast a spell that would have ended their lives. Anyhow, here we are, solitude. You're drawn to that fire, aren't you, Zavok? Like a moth to a flame. All right, I'll be inside. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. General. The men. I remember you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Legged Rika. I suspect we could use someone like you. That's not why I'm here. I see. Then there's nothing further to discuss. Oh, but if you there change is. your mind, speak with the Legate. I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They're convening a peace council at High Rothgar. Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until the Dragon Menace is no more. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. The dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. Uh, you may have a point. It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. By all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Even Alfred might see the sense of a truce under these conditions. You'll come to the Peace Council then. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. <laughs> That's not what my scouts report, you have sir. No idea. Every day more join his cause. But this peace Rifted council will Dawnstar accomplish. And Winterhold support him. All right it's then. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like. Next General. stop. Looks going like I'm to going back to, to talk to Angia. Jarl Bolgr. The Greybeards have called a peace council at High Rothgar. Can you believe it? Both Ulfric Stormcloak and General Tullius have agreed to go. Yes, I do believe it, because I orchestrated it. Now, as you were, guards. Zavok, you're with me. All right, and we are back. So, let's let this peace conference begin. Oh, it looks like everyone's ready for us. What? Who invited you? Esburn, Delphine? So, are what? You, is it? you know why we're here. I didn't invite are you going them. To let us in or not? You are not invited here. No, they're not. You're not welcome here. You're not welcome. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the 
Dragonborn on this path. Were you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. If it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this mountain, doing nothing. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse or graduate. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldwin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldwin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Uh, very well. You may enter. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. Uh, I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry. Everything will go according to plan. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Why delay? Please, take your seat so that we can begin. Peace is the last thing I'm looking for. I just need to get it, Alduin. Unfortunately, I have to go through all of this just to access his location. Oh, well, well look. And we can begin. Everyone, you don't need to stand on my account. Why delay? Please, take your seat so that we Don't can... use me like this again, Delphine. You know you weren't invited. Take your seat, and we can be... Now that everyone is here, please take your seats, so we can begin. Well... I hope that we have all... Sit down, all of you. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomat. Here, here. Sure. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial Delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either <laughs> she walks or I do. Now, now. Well, there are a lot of people that are assembled around this table and sitting at it. That have no business here. And you're right. The Thalmor especially have no business here. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legget, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about, unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be here able to, to arrange a temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. 
I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, oh, this is outrageous. Is. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Mortals. I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely what would the out of character. Empire want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. All right, um, well... How about Riften? Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Yes, can we get on with this? You sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the Lamb hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Shores, bones, where will these demands end? <laughs> Out with it, then. Yes, what do you want? I'm sorry that I seem to be favoring Ulfric. You slaughtered the very my people intent. you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation. This is our butchery. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? No, oh, here we go again. Why is it always up to me? Can't we just get this over with? Ah, 
I hope I'm choosing the right thing. Ulfric should compensate you for cough wasting. Well said. Good, at and least you... you I thought you agreed with my last decision. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperators hold to theirs. What about you, Melissa? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, <laughs> you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, come on. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf. Oh, it will be. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I believe I you can too. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Very well, then. Tell us. Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with the voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. So he'll come when called, then. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Alduin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So then, speak the dragon's name. Stop dragging this on. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Od Avin, winged snow hunter. Yes. Yes, that's it. Harthanax deserves to die. <laughs> <laughs> we have nothing to talk about until Harthanax is dead. It's done. Zavok, I finally have the piece of the puzzle that I need. It's time for us to get out of here and return to Whiterun and summon a dragon.